Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got Darth Maul. Let's look down here at this little fine print. SH Figu Arts is the new standard figure series. Incorporated Bandai R, blah, blah, blah. I thought I was going to say something a little bit more interesting. It didn't. Uh, but this is Darth Maul. Pretty cool. I think a lot of people are excited for this because Darth Maul is a pretty, mm, we call it acrobatic character, I guess. He does a lot of kicks and flips and kicks people's butts, and I think SH Figure Arts is going to allow the dynamic poses that we couldn't get out of an SH Figure Arts, and we're going to be able to get it here. And of course, the design is going to be great. As you can see in the back here, his face the mold looks awesome. So I'm really hoping it looks as awesome as the box art is showing. I can't really tell through the box. It looks pretty good, because, you know, if, we, if you opened up the Hulk, or you see my Hulk review, or... Matter of fact, if you look at any Japanese import figure, they really lack in head sculpts. Unless it's like a helmet. But like face sculpts in particular, I guess I should be more exact. They really, they do bad jobs. So, fingers crossed that this looks great. Let's open it up. While I got Darth Maul laid out perfectly in the package and everything, let's look at everything he comes with. He comes with two head sculpts. One face where he's looking real nasty and mean. The other one, he kind of just looks... uh Straight face, I guess. We've got a lightsaber hilt right here. And, of course, his lightsaber is broken into two parts because he has the double side lightsaber they put together. So you put those together. And then we get to see the, you know, the mold right here, whatever you want to call it. And then he comes with, we call it four sets of hands. Yeah, so eight total hands. Right here we got the fisted hands that are already on him. Here we have lightsaber holding hands. You can slide it through there, and of course, on each side, they're the exact same. Here, we can see a little bit better. It's kind of the same exact hand, but as you can see right here, it is a slightly bit different. The way he holds it will be different. Um, it's because of the angle that he holds it that will hold the lightsaber at a different angle, as opposed to the way this one, because it's more straightforward, and this one's more leaned. If you have a figma link then you probably have seen that before the way you can hold it is different and then we have an open palmed hand we can do like the force moves or something like that uh, whatever you wish to do with it grabbing something doesn't matter sh figure arts they did a great job definitely a step up from their hulk figure all the spikes on his head look really good i'm pretty impressed by it i don't can his eyes move let me look at the instructions real quick I don't believe his eyes can actually move. It doesn't come with any little piece, so I'm actually not mad about that. I think that's probably why the head sculpt came out so good, is they didn't waste their time with stupid eye movement. I Maybe I could be wrong. I could be off basis, but I feel like when they try to add the eye movement, that it must affect the way they sculpt soft plastic on his body. Let me zoom out a little bit more. I apologize. It's pretty soft. It's going to move really easily. I know Hasbro has been doing the cloth a lot, and for me, it's kind of a love-hate. I don't think Hasbro, or they do have it, but I don't think that they want to use this type of plastic, probably because it costs a little bit more. I don't think they're able to produce high-quality plastic like this without using cloth. Cloth's probably cheaper, and it doesn't stifle the articulation, but on these, they're able to use a better type of plastic, and you're paying for a better type of plastic, so that when he does kicky moves, it's not stopped by this, it's not stiff, it feels, it's really, uh, mendable, I guess would be the word. I don't know if it's not the word, if it's not the word, then don't kill me. And we can see his belt here, and it looks pretty good, just pretty basic design. Now, I do say, Hasbro has the upper hand because they have the full cloaked, uh, Darth Maul, where he has like the cap on his, not the cap, but the hood on his head, and that's a really, really cool look that they are kind of missing out here, but the good news is, if you still have your Darth Maul from the Hasbro series, that you could clearly just pop this off, and you could most likely rest it on there, I know Hasbro has much bigger peg holes, I would show you myself, but I actually sold my recently, but it would basically... The head and the whole thing is actually just attached to it, so it all just fit over that. Yeah, I'm going way into too much detail. They don't have to. But anyways, this figure has a lot of detail. Enough about the Hasbro crappy one. I mean, talk about detail. You can even see his earring right there. You can see how gnarly his spikes look on his head. They look dirty and nasty and stuff like that. You can see his pupils. 
you're not going to get that with a Hasbro figure. It just looks freaking amazing. Let's take a quick look at this other head sculpt right quick. Again, look at that. That's scary. You're going to dream about that in your nightmares. He looks like the guy from the Insidious 1. Right? He does, doesn't he? Say he doesn't. I dare you. Let's stick with the Insidious looking face here. I'm not going to change out his hands. You know how his hands go. Uh, I haven't gone into articulation yet, so let's go into that. His head will go back that far. It'll go f this forward. He has a small hinge at the base of his neck. And then, of course, he has the ball joint at the top, as I just showed a second ago. His arms will go that high. They'll do the 360. It's a pretty neat joint in there. Uh, kind of actually more like a generic joint in there, if I just say anything. And then we got the SH Figure Arts elbow. It's single jointed, but it works like a double jointed elbow here. It's kind of just on a really smooth feeling joint. Smooth, really smooth feeling. I like that a lot. And then we got no swivel out through here. There's no uh, forearm swivel. We do get a wrist swivel and a wrist hinge here. It works really well. Not much of an ab crunch. There is a little bit. As you can see, that's a little bit disappointing, to be honest. I think we could have had a little bit more. It doesn't seem like his body comes out a little bit. If you've owned any of the Dragon Ball Z figures, then you can kind of pull out the body on those and give yourself a little bit more articulation and stick them back in. But on this one, you can't. It's in there pretty good. So barely any waist uh, articulation or ab crunch, which is really kind of disappointing, to be honest. He does swivel, but I would have liked a little bit more out of that. His legs will go up that high. They go back that far. Double jointed knees. Again, that's really, really smooth joints. It feels like a new joint. A lot like the old one, but it feels a little bit new, a little bit thicker. I like those a lot. It feels new if you ask me. Can't be too sure on that. Ooh, I'm not going to call this a swivel. It does move a little bit, but not a lot. His feet actually won't go back that far. Wow. Kind of joint is this an ankle rocker? Kind of feels like an ankle rocker, but I can't really tell. Wow, there's no articulation in the feet. That's really disappointing. Oh wow, like this is as far as he'll move. There, a little bit. That's not very. That's not very good to be honest. It's on a ball joint, which is disappointing. So it's not really an ankle rocker. That's some really old technology. That's. That's kind of piss poor if you ask me. So you're not getting really any articulation here out of the ankles. That's that's not acceptable. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. He does get toe articulation though. Jeez. That's a he does get that. So I guess this is supposed to be the design where it gets broken in half during the battle and he has two. So what you have to do, they don't stick together or anything. You can use him as like he has tool dual lightsabers. I guess I guess he calls it a dual lightsaber. Or you can say he has two two lightsabers, or you can do the dual lightsaber, which is the correct term, I believe. And you gotta pull him out of those and stick him in here. So there you go. And that's how that works. Uh, I'll show you the difference real quick if I can of these hands. I'm just gonna actually slide it in. Sounds like the safest route. So just slide it in. Don't try to open up the hands or anything. It's just a different feel. There you go. So that's how they kind of fit in. They do sit at different angles. And that's just how that works. I'm going to detail the lightsaber. Very detailed. Fairly accurate from my limited knowledge. But I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it looks like. or Not exactly maybe. But for the most part that's what it looks like. Whether to get this or not, that's kind of a hard decision. I was really disappointed by the articulation in this figure, which was something I wasn't expecting to be disappointed about. Uh, mostly speaking of the waist articulation and the, especially the ankle articulation where I was most disappointed. I think those are huge factors in a figure like this where he's supposed to be doing flips and standing in weird poses and you know kicking people in the face that's that was really really disappointing again I'm kind of at a, a crossroads of whether I should recommend this figure or not because the mold and those faces they look excellent 
but uh, the it's just really piss poor. I mean, if you don't care about the articulation, it's yours. Get it. It's freaking awesome, and it's at a pretty good price. I can't remember, but it's probably different now, so it doesn't matter what I say. Um, but if you do care about articulation, you're going to be a little bit disappointed by these ankles. Uh, other than that, I do appreciate you watching. Until next time, have a good one. Peace out.